Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome back to Inter... Inter... Inter what? Interstellar Transport Company. Tiny Pirate. Learn your wordings. So it's been a little bit of time since you last saw the game. I let things run a little bit, partly because I was super addicted to it, partly because I just wanted to see what would happen. So I've got a few things to update you on. First of all, as you will see, Europa is doing fairly poorly. Look at all that food and hunger and stuff. It's got 34 million people on it. We are shipping there somewhat, but so is everyone else. And what else has happened here? Ganymede's been populated. Callisto hasn't. Io hasn't. Ganymede, yes. So that's very exciting. We've got a bunch of ships going back and forth there. More interesting stuff is actually happening over here on Titan. Where are you, Titan? So Titan has 54 million people on it, which is a little bit of an accident, I have to admit. We sort of accidentally shipped 54 million people there because our ships were shipping food, water, and people, and that just never ended, and we just could not get enough food out there, which is my bad, really. So I have been building ships that basically only take food and water out because 54 million people, as it turns out, go through a lot of food and water and we've got three million trying to leave so that that is a bit bad that's my fault and down here what do we got on here we actually have a dilithium fuel refinery running and we're producing dilithium and we're producing a little bit of the fuel as well uh the dilithium is um sort of popping out of the mines faster than the uh than this can take it so i'm just am i gonna upgrade yes i am i'm gonna do that now Actually, can I upgrade the, t the office? It was a bit of a bug. No, our reputation is still too low. We are being kind of smashed by famine. So as you see, our reputation is basically 0% because we're just not getting enough ships in, which is a pain. I have a bunch of money and a bunch of little ships are coming through here with food and water and what have you. But it's just not enough to keep this colony from dying. We have had, fortunately for us, and I want have a look, you'd have a look here at the ships that are currently hurtling across the solar system. Just, just an infinite amount. <laughs> wow, not infinite, but a lot. Uh, we do have some more options on ships. So this is the big bad boy, the G8 KHI Geodehan. Um, this ship came in as well, but it's really the Geodehan that's the, the biggest and baddest and most amazing uh, ship ever. And I'm going to order some more because we just need it. So I want food supplies and water supplies and maybe a couple of slots for machinery. You don't make as much machinery, they patched it. Machinery was a little bit ridiculous. I'm gonna order two now, let the game run for a second so they don't all stack up in a weird pile. And then I'm gonna uh, order order like two more. And then I'm gonna let the run game game run game the game run for a while. And then I'm gonna order a couple more because I really need them. I think basically seven million, I'm gonna spend one more. They're 500,000 each, that is a lot. Basically they, the, the colony at 50 million people needs daily supplies. And we will be, we're down to one million people, so we've had some shipment. I think we're down to one, is that right? So yeah, we have to be very careful. Um, there is demand there, there is the lithium crystals available. It needs a bit of machinery. The machinery, the development of the planet is not going up very fast. So machinery, food and water are currently worth a bunch of uh, supplies or a bunch of sort of subsidies, which is great. But is it going to be enough? So here I've got a ton of water coming in, but no food. So that's just a water supply ship. I've actually sold off most of my random uh, passenger type ships. So that one isn't, but there are a few kicking around and I still have to get rid of them because I'm just taking too many people out to that planet. So we're launching ships, which is great. Europa is a bit better off because it's not our colony. It does have, look, it's got food and what have you coming. In fact, I think I need to purchase another one of those. Um, and that, I don't know, Europa's fine-ish. It's got a bunch of people shipping to it. Titan feels like my responsibility. I do have, look, there's a nice arc coming out, but they're not exactly quick. Titan's up to six million, really? Ah, that is that is a worry. I may have really stuffed things up. Not sure. How are we doing? So we've still got ships coming out, but it's these ships coming in that I feel like, what have you got, Earth Europa Direct? Um, I feel like telling you to go Earth Titan. 
if it will remember, but I don't know if it will do it. Stay, just... Oh, well, never mind. Well, I was just going to leave you alone. I just need to order more Earth Titan ships. So, I'll find those very newest ones and order a duplicate. Look how many we've got on order. I'm just going to crack through a few more. And at some point, I will rationalize the fleet a little bit because we've got these older, smaller ships, which, you know, they take up slots. And OK, so here we go. Ah, oh, this emergency supply pipeline. Uh, hopefully it's enough. 13 million people starving to death. Wow. Uh, we got enough to... I just want to see. We've got two down there now. One is up. And... Famine on Titans creating refugees. Another one down. 30,000 profit. That is pretty good. That's what happens when you starve people to death. It's all good business. Okay, so we're out of available gate slots. And someone else has come along. I'm going to open two of them. Someone else has come along to purchase, which is very nice. No, we're still reputationally stuffed. We've got a ton of food waiting. No more refugees. 57 million people. That's okay. And look at that armada coming in. I, I just don't... I actually don't understand why we are not the most valuable company. Our operating profits are tiny. Uh, company net worth, it must be pretty massive. It's not. Esther has... Are they just storing up a bunch of money? We're growing. This is where we just spent a bunch on ships. I think we're in a really good spot to make a ton of money. But... Yeah, we still have to deal with uh, everything being a bit wrong out, out here. So Titan is... Look, they just burned through so much food and water so fast. We need a constant stream. And we might need bigger ships to do that too. So we might just have to be a bit patient here. Meanwhile, Mars uh, had a few problems. So as you can see, Mars's population is down to only 430,000. Everyone basically died. And you've got, what, it's got an enormous pile of food and water lying around and no one to use it. So I'm actually going to buy up, I accidentally, uh, when I was away, I accidentally lost gate by being a bit derpy. And uh, I couldn't get another one until this recent patch change because my company, company rep was so low because people had starved to death. What is going on out here? What are you doing, blue player? Just hanging around. Hanging around the Mars orbit going nowhere. That's fine. So Mercury, I think, possibly also had everyone starved to death. But it's doing okay. Mm. I could pick up and do uh, a bit of shipments to and from uh, Earth, I think, of possibly machinery. But really, machinery is in not such a great spot on Earth. What about Luna? Luna has an absolute metric ton of machinery lying around, so I think a ship to and from Luna might be a good idea. We seem to be a little poor as well, which is a bit of a problem. So, okay, our big ships have landed. Titan is being swamped. And it still, we still cannot keep up with demand. That is so concerning. That is so concerning. I don't know what we can do about that. We've got famine again, and yet we've got a constant stream of ships. Oh, it's such a pain. I'm just going to set up a new route. It's going to be Luna to uh, Titan return, and it's going to be, uh, I'm going to call it Luna, t Luna Titan machinery because that's what it is and we have a ship that's coming as soon as it's available that's fine i'm going to order a brand new ship it's going to be this big bad boy and it's all going to be machinery i'm not even naming the ships right now because i have so many so i quickly ran out of patience for that that's okay so luna titan machinery will order that ship i don't think we'll need much more than that. I mean, that's a ton. So I have to be a bit careful. And how are you doing, Titan? Again, just totally blank. Just empty. Ah, oh, that is such a pain. I've done a little bit of tweaking. The first thing I have done is if we go into the uh, Earth Lunar System, the ships that we have coming back and forth now, I've stripped out those kind of cheap, well, cheaper small ones. And now what we have are the large, massive ones. I've got two of them, or one on order, one is going back and forth, I think that's one of ours. As you see, 30,000 each route, 350,000 being made so far. That's hopefully reducing kind of maintenance overhead and that kind of stuff. 
And look, there's another one coming, 31,000 already. I should probably just duplicate these endlessly because it looks like, well, Luna has very high demand for food and water, particularly water, which it seems to be constantly running out of. So that is an interesting thing. Um, I don't know if I want to spin. Uh, do I? Do I want another one? Why not? I'm going to order a duplicate ship. Bam. Uh, so there we go. Luna supply. We've got that one on order. All of our other ships, I've cleared out all the smaller light ones just to try and reduce system load. Because as you can see, there's a lot in the system. And things are causing, a, there's a few problems being caused with this many ships. First of all, they keep breaking down. And I don't really know what to do about that. I have high, oh, I've got about, oh, one, two, three, fully upgraded. Is that one fully upgraded? Fully upgraded. Three, possibly four fully upgraded maintenance bays here. I know they don't always come back here, but I was hoping that that would sort of contribute to a general ready state of affairs. On Titan, I cannot put anything down because our company reputation is so poor. 19 million people trying to get off. Thankfully, we have food and water arriving and a long steady stream here. But what we actually need is a long steady stream coming back this way so that we're constantly cycling through. But ships are broken down all over the show, which is a shame. Not sure what to do about that. I mean, perhaps we shouldn't have shipped so many people out there in the first place. But what, what can you do? Is there anything interesting happening out at Neptune? No. But I have noticed something kind of cool. So if we purchase a new ship, look what I have here. So this Doeing 949, I've only just spotted it. I've had it for a little while. Warp speed 2.9. That is beautiful. Hmm. That is very beautiful. So I'm actually tempted to put it on the Titan. Uh, how much are these? 500,000. They are expensive. So I'm going to put it on the Earth Titan Direct. I'm going to buy one. And I'm going to load it up like this, which is some food, water, and some machinery. I'm hoping that that will work. Per light year, 3.8 fuel usage full. I want to start ordering these because I do want to eventually settle somewhere else. And we're going to need a fleet of these to supply somewhere else, I suspect. So I've ordered one. I've ordered two. They are pretty quick. So that will also help with our supply issues. And it's probably time we have a look at nearby systems. I want to have a look for somewhere that we might hope to settle. So look, strange new alien worlds. This one doesn't look so good. This one looks interesting. A pale blue orb. Is that lightning across there? So there are, I should mention that developer has a whole bunch of plans for the game. There was a news post that he put out on a recent patch, which I really appreciate. Developers put news on your patches with updates and stuff. I'm likely to read them. And he wants to make multiplayer a bit more achievable because uh, right now it's a little buggy and you'll have like challenges and challenge modes and a multiplayer and high scores, global high scores to beat that kind of stuff, which is fun. More options on, um, on planets and, pl and moons like system security with revolutions and picking sides and wars and all this kind of stuff so it's kind of cool so what would this take uh subsize a colony da, 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 da. so i'm having a look here it has it's actually not that habitable i think we could do better and only a tiny bit of water so i want to keep having a look around for better why is there a repair ship all the way over here has someone settled already i don't think so so I have actually found a really habitable looking world on that same system. And it turns out there are no, there's no population here. So I'm assuming the flashing lights of the police bus were just, I don't know, for show. So 63% explorable or sort of habitable on uh, Akhenar 3. A ton of water. That is brilliant. Raw materials, some. Rare resources, none, which is a bit of a shame. Dilithium, none. And machinery. Well, we've just got no, no one there. So that is Akanar 3, definitely high on my habitability list. I do want to have a bit more of a look around, so I'm going to do that now. So I have found one more world with high habitability. It is, uh, what are we calling this? Minkalinen 5, not that one, Minkalinen 4. There it is. Let's have a look at this bad boy. So, wow, it's quite pretty. Nice blue orb in space. What is it telling me here? 95% habitable water, 64 raw minerals, and not much else. But it is, if I zoom back, where is it? Uh, 
Azulphage, no. Uh, it is uh, all the way over here, which is a long way. I think what I want to do is look at settling in Akina uh, uh, 4. And uh, I need to speed up time, earn a bit of money so we can afford to do that, and then start destroying some fantastic resources on producing that, which would be yeah really good. So I'm going to find our ships, rename our interstellar ships, and then see what I can do for... Um, keeping them loaded. I might tell them to load up with the lithium at the far end when they get to Titan, but not to sell it. See if we can start stockpiling some fuel. A little time has passed and I got a warning that the 25 year mark had been reached, which means the end of content basically. So they've run out of fresh stuff, which will all of course be added to in the future. This game is going to be hitting early access. So bigger ships and faster ships and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm doing now is just keeping an eye on what our ships are doing coming in. Um, there's a little bit of lithium fuel here. There is a, well, a better, we're at 12% development. We are delivering a lot of machinery here now. I've got two big ships delivering machinery. And uh, I'm just sort of keeping out. It looks like we are reducing the amount of famines. It's not too extreme. And there's a really steady flow of ships coming in and out. I basically moved everyone off the Europa route that I could. So Europa, where are you? Europa could be having a very bad time. It's not doing too bad, not sort of, well, it's about on par. It's about on par with Titan. Everyone else, however, is going to and from uh, wonderful uh, Titan. Somewhere in here is our interstellar class of ships. So I'm just going to keep an eye out for them. Meanwhile, back on Earth, if I just slow things down a little bit, we actually have quite a few ships going to and from earth to lunar now I, I basically if it had passengers on it i told it to do this lunar route because there'll always be room for business people and what have you to come back and forth so hopefully it doesn't destroy the population too much half a billion people on there and they are out of water which is absolutely no good you know i'm kind of tempted why don't i do them a favor i'm a very generous beneficent kind of guy and we're just gonna give them this water boat and it's gonna be on the earth lunar route and that's all it's going to do. Earth Lunar Supply. Brilliant. I think now, though, it's time to go and settle another world to see if we can do that. Uh, so one of the things I need to do for this is to kind of make sure that our... Well, you guys all right waiting for repair ship? That's fine. Where are our interstellar class ships? So I have two or three of them running. And what, where are you? You're coming into Titan, that's fine. What I want, there's two of them, one and two, so they don't have any fuel on them right now. But there is actually quite a lot of fuel on Earth, so what I'm going to do is tell these interstellars to do the, as soon as this one's finished, I'm going to tell it just to go Earth Lunar until I'm ready for it to do something else. I don't want the colonies on their own too long. Interstellar 1 is away with not much on board. Interstellar 2 is away, so it's time to flip them over to the Earth Lunar supply route. Now they've done their delivery, and when Interstellar 3 is ready, I'll do the same thing. So, Earth Lunar Supply, where are you, Interstellar 3? And then I'm hoping that those three ships will be enough to pull off colonization of a highly habitable world. Where are you? I, I would think, you know, you'd sort of think it would. So, Atrina, uh, there's no population on it. We're going to be the first people to set a colony up. We are the Elon Musk of space. Well, we're the Elon Musk of this game anyway, so HNR 3, habitability 60, whatever, except we have now got 150,000 people on there. We need to pause the game. I'm going to upgrade the starport. And I'm actually going to make sure we have really good company favor. I'm going to build some stuff now. Build the local office. Upgrade the local office. Upgrade it again. Why not? Build a maintenance hangar. Upgrade it. Upgrade it. We've got lots of money for this. Mm, 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 mm. Um, 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 rare resources, no, raw materials, there is some. Uh, we'll build a security office. We'll upgrade it and upgrade it again because I don't want pirates. Look, we're just clustered here. Is there anything else that's useful to put down? There is no dilithium. They have a little bit, a tiny bit of machinery and a taxi service. Upgrade, upgrade. I don't think there'll be much more than that going on. We're going to buy two gates straight away. Is there anything else we could want on here? We've already got a decent maintenance hangar. Um, I think that will be okay. Now we need to set a route. Our very first 
interstellar route. So, okay, it's gonna be from add stop um, Earth. We're gonna continue to drain all of Earth's um, wonderful, you know, resources and just send them all over, all over the galaxy. Earth to Atrena 3. We're just gonna let that one. So let's call it, uh, let's rename it. Earth Action now Direct. And uh, does that fit nicely? Brilliant. And we are going to give it some ships. So as soon as we get back into our ship menu, I want to be able to sort this eventually. I'm sure it's just one of those things to come. So Interstellar 3, you can just go straight onto Earth Action now Direct. Let's see if this works because. Oh, too small for this ship. That's okay. I'll upgrade the spaceports in a minute. Interstellar 1, you're the same. You're going to need a big. Yes, I know. And Interstellar 2. Um, I'm hoping that the general orders will allow them to pick up enough fuel. If it doesn't, we're going to be in some severe problems. So upgrade. And upgrade again. That's cheap enough to do. We are at... What does that ship require? Let's just have a quick squiz. It Whoa, size seven. Whew, okay, that's a bright. So yes, uh, we'll have to upgrade that once more at least. What are we on now? Um, easiest way to check is just to go back. Seven, medium regional. Okay, so do we want... Co well, I think we do want colonists out there as well. Which means what we need to do is to purchase yet another one of these fancy ships. Um, give it five of that. Five business class, uh, I don't know, three of those and two more normal class. And I uh, can't help but feel that food and water will also be required. And maybe hoppers for raw resources for the return leg. Launch immediately. And we're going to put that on the Earth Astronaut one. So right on the edge of the solar system here, I've got our interstellar ship starting to go. I've noticed, I've, well, I've got four, five, six, seven, eight of them now. I've ordered a whole bunch. Whoa, there was a disaster on Triton. Oh, poor, poor chaps. Air, airlock failure. I think that's Triton's over here, Neptune's moon. But what you'll notice here is these guys get to the edge of the solar system and then they blip. Uh, maybe in the future, we'll be able to build infrastructure that allows kind of warp gates closer to... Uh, closer to the center of the system because that is really slow. Now if I zoom back, ah oh, look we've got interstellar roots on. That is amazing. Wow that money is... come back here. Okay that's that's really cool. So let's check now we have... there we go, new Doing 949. Okay that's fine and uh, where are we? So these guys are currently about to starve to death. 150,000 of them. We're the only ones with infrastructure here, but there should be ships coming in. Here they come. Here's one of them anyway. It's bringing a bit of food and water. We've really got to be careful. We've really got to be careful about population. We cannot let the population grow too high with this very slow, this very slow shipment system. So at least we have plenty of food and what have you coming in. That's pretty cool. I'm excited for that. So this is pretty amazing. I've actually caught, if you look very closely here, a pirate in action. See, there's little pirates blasting around. Um, are you in 66 pin dis disrepair? Are you about to be smashed? I think you are. So there's little pirates blasting around this guy, which is no good. The pirate icon appeared. I kind of think, do I, um, do I put down another security service? Uh, I think it stacks. I mean, how much more can we do? That's a, that's a lot of security. Uh, and these ships, yeah, he's been just, I don't know, what's this, he broken? He's okay. Hmm, I don't know if they can destroy them. It would be a bit of a worry if they can. He has got out this one, 78% dis disrepair. So that is a problem. Pirates have come in and done that, which is annoying. I have ordered a couple more interstellar ships because we need it. But I really want them to get here so we can really feel secure in our first colony. So I was just checking on something and I noticed that actually water production on the planets is actually going up. See, it's 10 and 6 and I'm pretty sure that's because of the development level. So really the lesson is don't skimp on dumping large amounts 
of uh, machinery on the planet. You've got to keep it developing. Compare that to our new world here, Achenar 3, which I really should be able to rename Tiny Pirateville because I'm vain like that. As you can see, we don't produce anything on this world yet because we are simply a net uh, receiver of goods. So, oh look, police ships are out. Where are our... Oh, here are our ships coming in. That one's broken. Three are there. Two more coming. This is going to be quite a steady chain. A pirate's attack warded off by five. Da, 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 da. I don't see anything else there. Okay, cool. We just want these ships to land. And then we'll see our colony grow. Here we go. Our very first colonial ships arriving on a new whole system. The future of the human race. Is it secure now? Probably. A bunch of food has been dro dropped off. A bunch of water. What else have we got coming in? Passengers with... What are they bringing raw goods for? Oh, well, fair enough. They're bringing raw goods. Do we have any machinery coming? A little bit of machinery, food, and water is coming. It feels like the future of the human race is secure with our first interstellar colony. If we can make it sustainable. Uh, that's a pretty sustainable looking world. 63% habitable. So, I think this might be enough of uh, interstellar transport company what do you think i think i've learned as much as i can and we've hit the we've hit the 25 year limit the technology is all played out that we have available to us and by the way that will also be a feature in the next game you'll be able to kind of buy sorry not the next game the next big update when they finish their early access you'll be able to buy like into future technology and get exclusive licenses this kind of stuff which will make things a little less on rails for tech which is which is pretty cool our company reputation here seems to be falling rapidly even though we're giving them quite a lot of what they want. I think they want more of a bunch of things. Yeah, consumer goods. I might have to get up some kind of shipment of machinery and consumer goods and, I don't know, bits and bobs. But that's fine. I'm pretty pleased. This has been Interstellar Transport Company. Tell me what do you think. Have you enjoyed it? Until next time, I've been Tiny Pirate. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe, because if you do, you get to watch cool games. And that's great. Good night.